Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Pop here. And we're back doing some rangery stuff. And I kind of, this week I haven't done as much, uh, haven't done as much, uh, I haven't done, 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 done as much recording of other games as I was kind of hoping to. Uh, it's kind of been, just, it's just been one of those weeks really, so it's kind of been like an EverQuest week. <laughs> uh, which I know a lot of you will be, will be happy about, but as from next week, <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll be mixing some stuff in and uh, seeing how we go. So anyway, this is um, the Ranger, as you can see. Sorry, I've just changed my resolution. This is Ranger, as you can see, and we're doing some. Yeah, we're still we're still cracking on with the um, the non twink non twink stuff. Now, basically, uh, what I've been doing since level five up, up until to give you a recap up until level five, I was doing. Let's move up here. I think probably up until level five, I was doing. Um, just a newbie yard basically, just kill all the beetles and skeletons and stuff that you can find in the yard. That gets you up to level 5 pretty easily. Since, basically since level 5, um, exclusively, I've been doing um, the rabid wolf pet, rabid wolf pelt quest, uh, or diseased wolf pelt I should say. And that's been brilliant, because I'm, I'm going to say I'm almost level 9, because I am almost level 9. Uh, the reason for that is I, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six pelts, uh, and each pelt gives you roughly, even at level eight, is giving me about half half of the yellow. So I'm going to get eight of those. Then we're going to go back and uh, and I'll show you the turning up to level nine. Um, and it's been great. You know, it's I've I've got what have I got? I've got just over sixty plat. Um, another eight turnings will be another sort of sixteen ish, sixteen to twenty plat, I guess. So. Basically, just from doing that, I've got myself to a point where I can probably afford a Silver Swift Blade for him. So that's what we're going to be going for. And we'll also get the spells, of course, as well, which will be uh, pretty awesome. Now, this is where I've been waiting um, for the magic to happen. What you've, what you've basically got is... If you're a ranger, obviously it makes things up much, but much easier. But if you're not, don't worry, it's not a problem. Um, the, there, there, are two, there are two cons for, for the wolves. One of them is level 5. Uh, he's the higher level of the two, and he spawns down here, uh, in this section. And about he spawns about here. So location is there. You go. Location's on the screen. So if you wanted to come and camp this spot, not a problem. You know, it would be uh, very easy. The green one uh, spawns further up uh, that way, which would be what way would that be? That would be south. So he spawns to the south. But he paths back this way, and he will come essentially past here. So I normally kill that one, and then I'll sit myself down here, uh, keep tracking. Uh, he will be green to me at this point. He's level three. Just wait for him to come along, and that's basically it. That will get you up to that will get you from five to nine pretty quickly. Is it quicker than? Um, is it quicker than uh, going around killing mobs? Uh, your, of your sort of level or under, I, I would say probably. Yeah, I, I, I think it probably would be a lot quicker actually. What I was doing at first, because uh, I started at level five, and the highest level mob was level, the highest level wolf was level five. So the fights would be a bit close, and sometimes you'd get rabies. So what I was doing is I was taking the pelts. I was getting two pelts, taking them back, turning them in. They cure your rabies. Uh, then essentially you come back, and. Do it again. By the time you come back, you'll find that the, um, the, the the wolves have probably spawned again, or if not, they're very close to spawning again. And then you do it again. Uh, but as I kind of out leveled them, what I did, and the fights became easier. What I did was I basically just sat around here. Uh, I'd kill that. I kill the blue, and I'd wait for the green, and I'd go and wait for the blue, and just get a collection of pelts and go and turn them in, uh, essentially. And that has got me to level nine. So yeah, I'm not playing this character. A huge amount. As I said, it was going to be more of like a. Here, come, here he comes now, the rabid wolf. Will we get him on track? Yeah, my track's getting better, which is good. <laughs> but we'll head over here. And this is like bliss for me because I'm, I'm sitting in the Kinos Hills. I can watch the sun the sun come up and go up and come up and down. Um, oops. And just yeah, just relax. Essentially, it's, it's, it's really relaxing. As I say, he's just he's just he's just dummy with rabies. That's fine. He's level three. You should kill him very quickly. 
I said at level five, you're going to struggle with the with the the even con, but but even at um, even non twinked, I managed to do it, so it's really not a problem. There we go. So I've now got seven. I think I've got seven. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. So we'll we'll go over here and uh, I normally leave if if you can, I normally leave a corpse up. I mean, you've got the location, but if you leave a corpse up, you can see where it's going to spawn. It's pretty safe here. The only thing you have to be aware of is that a, put a putrid skeleton does does um, does come spawn along. Does kind of sometimes path along here. Uh, the shadow knight also that's in the zone paths around this side as well, but I don't think he comes up this far. So you should be uh, you should be okay. And it's a nice easy camp, you know. And basically that's got us to level nine. The the um, the, the newbie are to five. If you twinks, you could probably come out here and start killing these wolves at three or four, I guess. Uh, wouldn't be a problem at all. But that has got us to to this point. And which is great, which means that we're gonna get our spells soon. I can hopefully afford a weapon of some kind. I'll see if I can get a deal on a um, on a silver swift blade. That will be uh, that will be cool. And and we've basically done I've basically done this in a in a fairly short period of time. Untwinked. So if you're prepared to start in the Kinos area. Where admittedly things are quiet from a, from a from a from a like a population point of view, you can you can get a pretty good head start. And there's a couple of other quests also that I'm going to be doing, which also kind of net a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of uh, platinum and experience. So it's a good place to start. I don't know if they kind of balanced it that way because I, I started a paladin free in Freeport, as you'd probably be aware by now. And um, yeah, that was pretty. Um, let's go see if we can see the sunset or. Yeah, I think it'd be sunset. That was that was pretty tricky starting off. You don't seem to have the same amount of quests going on. So that that's that's ba that's the start. Unless someone can kind of inform me otherwise, that's basically. Uh, let's get the old UI off, and we can watch the sun going down. Yeah, unless someone can can inform me otherwise, that that Freeport um, doesn't have doesn't have those those quests that push you forward quickly. Um, as, as you get in um, uh, in Kinos here, but I guess maybe the advantage of uh, a freeport is you've got the people. You know, you've got the population there for for uh, for that kind of thing. Oh, the rabid wolf has spawned. There he is. Yeah, you've got the population there to help you, haven't you? I guess. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's what it's all about in freeport. You get people to buff you and stuff. <laughs> maybe they maybe they knew. Maybe it was um, maybe they just knew that uh, yeah that Kinos was going to be a quieter quieter area. Who knows. But it doesn't seem to have that quest, those those sort of quests to uh, yeah to push you forward. What it does have though, it does have um, it does have lots of bears. And uh, when I stopped streaming yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, what I did was I did some um, I did some bear hunting, uh, and I got a high quality wolf pelt and I got thirty plat for it. So that seems to be the way to go in Freeport. Uh, get buffs and get some bear pelts. So a couple more bear pelts. I should be, again I should be able to buy uh, buy the paladin weapon as well. Oops. There we go. That's it. Uh, that's it. I've got eight pelts. And that, that should easily take me to level nine, where we can go and buy some spells. What I'll do is I'll head back in, and then I'll uh, I'll be back. Hello, guys. Welcome back, Bob here. And we're at Priestess Korea, and we're about to turn in our... Pelts. See, as you can see, even at level at level eight, um, we're getting a fair amount of XP. I hope I haven't misjudged this. I'm pretty sure that. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll need another another pelt or two. Um, but anyway, you can get some sort of idea of how much experience I'm getting. I reckon we might just scrape it here. Yeah, some of them seem to give more than others. I wonder if the higher level one gives more than the lower level one, which would be weird. But I, really, I think we're going to get to level nine. There we go. There we go. Level nine. Um, Seventy-three plus a plus some change. Seventy-three plat plus some change. I bought some food. I bought some bandages. Um, I bought some arrows. So if you wanted to be really skimpy. You could maybe have a bit more than that, a bit more plat. Uh, but I want to go and uh, buy my spells, and obviously I'll be back 
yeah, I'll I'll get over to uh, Shawfall, and when I'm there, what I'll do is I'll have a little chat with uh, Suspert Clanium before I go. Lovely lass, um, just just not just not falling from the charms, unfortunately. No matter how much I talk to her, she just doesn't. Uh, not interested. She keeps talking about swords and evil, and you know, it's it just gets boring after a while. I I'm going to say that she's probably single, but uh, yeah, I'll be back. Hello guys, welcome back. Bob here, and I've just bought all my spells. Uh, they're all cheap, they're all cheap level one druid spells, aren't they? I think probably so. Yeah, uh, we didn't we didn't really take us didn't really cost us any uh, uh, anything at all particularly. Uh, so we've got snare, which is a what a wonderful spell snare is. Um, I remember when I played a druid back on live. I just love the spell. It's uh, it's amazing. And I'm looking forward to uh, to using that. I've uh, got a couple of buffs. Uh, skin skin like wood. Endure fire. Well, you know, you know how it is. But we're doing but we're doing pretty well so far. And I'm finding that the I'm finding that the the non twinkage has really kind of kind of helped. It's kind of got me back into that EverQuest sort of flow. It's uh, it's just it's just it's just interesting it's just interesting to experiment and try try it out every now and again to see to see how it feels because it is a, a completely different gameplay experience i mean um you know you you run around and you look for mobs and you and you kill mobs that you wouldn't necessarily um kind of consider bothering with when you're twinked because you don't you don't need those drops you know you don't need the wolf skins because it, it all just comes to you uh, quickly you know and you you flash through these levels and it becomes a bit of a yeah, just becomes a bit bit of a rush really, and uh, and I think maybe yeah maybe the enjoyment kind of goes. Well, that's certainly how it feels to me anyway. But we've uh, we've got a couple of buffs. I've done some training. So I did as I was running over. I did I did go and um, I did go and kill the uh, I did go and kill the wolves again uh, because why not? So uh, kind of the world's my oyster now really, or or, or um, the Kinos Hills is, is my oyster. <laughs> still I can just do stuff you know I can just do stuff basically I can work on the spell skills um, I can what else could I do well I, I guess from a, like a questing point of view uh, or from a leveling point of view I can I can maybe carry on doing the oh I forage something cool you know I could I could carry on doing the wolf pelts um, I could go and kill some gnolls I have I mean what, what I probably will do is I will go and kill some gnolls at some point but I have kind of been avoiding that because because it, it is like a, a bit of a fast track cheat for leveling. Um, and what I was kind of hoping to do is to level enough to a point where I can go and do uh, kind of the other thing that I'm, I'm going to be doing to to for experience for, exp, for XP and um, uh, and money. So we'll see. I might I might do Knowles briefly, just just for a, a little level level bump. Uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll see how we go. But yeah. If you if you if you're doing this, let me know. It'd be quite interesting if anyone has kind of decided to give this a go. Um, essentially, because because yeah, you thought it might you've seen this video and you thought it might be a good idea. If you follow me following me along, let me know how you're getting on. The other thing I do want to point out is what I don't want is anyone to come see these videos who may have who may have passed something to me like an item to help me out because I appear to be a newbie. Well, I'm a newbie, but you know. You know what I mean. So if anyone ever does come across your videos, I just want to make it clear that if you've given me something and you're thinking to yourself, well, this guy doesn't need anything, um, and I've accepted it, then, yeah, I just want to say that I, anything you've given me, as long as it's not a problem for you, um, as I upgrade, I will pass it on, basically. Uh, I will pass the... Was that someone trying to cast a spell at me? I don't know. I think it might have been. Tal Talion, thank you. Hey, that's cool. Uh -huh. Oh, he's not finished. Oh, that's a big one. That skin like steel. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tallyin. Yeah, if, if you come see these videos and you think to yourself, well, I've given this guy stuff and he didn't need it. As long as you don't mind, you know, whenever whenever I upgrade, I will pass that item on to a, to a, another new player. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to experience the whole... The whole whole thing with regards to being a, being a new player um, what we got down here a boat 
troll is shaming over there, I think. He's obviously uh, he's camping, camping. What's his face? Can't remember the name. Is it for the fishbone earring? It might be. Yeah, but as I was saying, you know, I will pass stuff on. Uh, as I said, a very kind ranger did, did chuck a, a few bits my way. When I upgrade those, I'll, I'll, I'll pass them on. Uh, and I'm still not playing on Twinking at the moment at all. You know, it's I can afford a weapon, I think, probably, if, if I find a generous person. Um, I actually have a Silver Swift Blade on my account. <laughs> so what I was kind of thinking of doing is putting the money in the bank and then just, just acting as though that money's not there anymore. And then just passing it on. But I don't know. Maybe I should just try and buy, buy my own one. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, we've, uh, we've salvaged up some drink. There's those wolves again. To the left. Heading to the left. Straight ahead. Do you know what? I think that this... Uh, I think that this whole wolf thing... It's probably staying me in good stead for another level or two. Essentially because I can just sit here and do it, you know, that's the that's a good thing about it. And uh, well I think one of them one of them may probably just still about just may just about give me experience. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, this will be the last video this week because I'm off to Cambridge to see my son, see how he's doing. Uh, it's his first time away from home at, at university, so yeah. Should be a, should be a laugh. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, next week. Where I plan on, like I had a, a bit of a stream again uh, the other day and it all seemed to go quite well. So yeah, so my plan is to do more streaming. We had a pretty uh, pretty good audience in. Uh, lots of chat, which is quite good, you know. There's a, there's a, there's a wolf there. Now, there, there's, there was a necromancer killing these, but he wasn't looting the pelts. Ah, cool, there we go. So, we just wait for the uh, wait for the spawn, I guess. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's all I've got to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, if if you decide to kind of do a similar thing, maybe with a different class, then yeah, let me know how you're getting on. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon.